Hey guys, welcome back. Instead of going to the salon, I figured why not try it on myself first. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying Brad Mondo's haircutting tutorial on myself and um, we'll see how this goes. So I definitely can't explain it as well as Brad does, so I'll let him walk you through this. Also a little tipsy. I don't think that's the best idea to cut your hair, but we're going to do it. It's been a long day. So I think I want to take about this much off. Oh, no. It says to start with straightened hair. Hopefully this is straight enough. And we're going to be doing it on dry hair. What you're going to need is maybe a couple of clips, some shears, some scissors. I don't have hair cutting scissors, but I do have six cats. So I have pet grooming scissors. Should work. Right? We need a comb, some hair ties, and a brush would be great. So we're going to part our hair just like how we would part it normally. So if you part to the side, part to the side. You want to bring it all the way down to the back. And guys, I'm not watching the video right in front of me. I watched it a couple times before making this, but I film on my phone so I can't follow along and watch it at the same time. So I'm going off of memory, but I also did take down notes just so I don't miss any steps. We're off to a good start. I don't think you guys understand how hard editing is because I ramble so, so much. You guys don't even see like 40% of the random crap that just comes out of my mouth. Honey, can you draw a straight line for me? I'm not trying to part your hair on the line. Mm -hmm. Thank you, it looks perfect. Good. My handy assistant. I need bigger clips. Okay, so these clips aren't gonna work. So you, these are too big of sections. So I'm just gonna take a scrunchie and hold it up like that. I gotta sneeze, hold on. <coughs> Ew. <laughs> I wonder if I can get that in slow-mo. I just <laughs> sneezed a loogie on my pants. Ew. So we're gonna go to the top of the head and you're gonna lay your comb on there and you're gonna find where the apex is. That's the high point of your head, the tallest part. And I'm gonna take the comb from that apex and go right behind her ear all the way down. I'm just gonna go behind my ear. This is the tallest point of my head. How are you supposed to see the tallest point of your head on yourself? Okay. So now I'm going to wait for my husband. Mm. It's a good finger workout. Mm, mm, mm. Please make sure your hair is all brushed out or combed out. And let's start off with this front left section. You're gonna kind of want to see how your hair falls and be like, Look in the mirror and figure out where you want your hair to land. If it's like right here, just mark it with your fingers and remember that spot. We're gonna take one of our elastics, we're gonna comb it together in our hands and we're gonna make a little ponytail right where we want our hair cut. Make sure you're not directing the hair forward like this, okay? You want it to be right on the shoulder. All right, so let my hair fall naturally and you want it to be over the shoulder, not over, over directed. So we're gonna repeat those two steps on the other side. Okay, that took entirely too long, but I want this to look good. So here's what the sections look like. Hopefully I got them all semi-even. So now here comes the terrifying part, cutting my hair. And I have not cut my hair since um, I was five years old. That did not go well. I had patches missing and so did my dog. 
If I can find a picture of that, I will definitely insert that in here for you guys. We are gonna point cut. Now point cutting is when you go up instead of across or down, but instead of across. We're not going across, none of this. What horizontal cutting is gonna do is give you a very sharp line. We're looking for a nice blended effect. I'm going to get rid of the majority of the length here and then point cut. <laughs> Ain't no going back now. So we're gonna point cut. We're gonna take that section and we're gonna start point cutting. You can also point cut downward, upwards like this, or downwards like this. I can't believe I'm doing this. Doesn't matter. I keep my hair up, so it's not like anybody sees my, you guys are literally the only people that see my hair down. Unless maybe I'm having a lazy day and then I just go to Walmart and grab a beanie. <laughs> yeah, we're going to move on. I'm going to spend ages on it otherwise. Ready, ready, ready. Ooh. All right, I'm going to go right here. And hold it. Okay. Uh. This is so fun. Look at my little tassels. Um, this one needs to get a little bit shorter. A couple months ago, I didn't know this existed. Apparently hair splinters are a thing. Like the hair that you cut, those little pieces, if you don't like shower after you cut your hair, can get lodged under your skin and get infected and become very uncomfortable. I didn't know that. I'm really nervous to take these out and see how uneven they are because I know they're not going to be even. Probably not the best idea to cut your hair while drinking, but you know, we're here so. Now that we have all that done, we're gonna let these sections out and hopefully <laughs> everything is perfectly even. All right, well, let's see. You wanna take it out and do the honors? Oh, that looks pretty even. Damn. Damn. pretty damn good job. So here's the front. Comb this out. I think I will have to fix a little bit of a ledge right here. Maybe just a little bit right here. That little point. Much better than I can do. So, so itchy. Itchy. Oh, yeah, he said to correct the ledge in the front. So, we're gonna section off just a bit. We're gonna comb the hair in front of our face. Hopefully, you can kind of see through your hair, or else this might be a little difficult for you. We're gonna take our scissors, and you see that slight bend happening in the front? It kind of goes down a little bit because of the over direction we had on the shoulders. We're gonna correct that. We're just gonna point cut across, and we're just gonna get rid of that little tiny ledge. This might be a good place for some of you to stop. If you have fine hair, or you like your ends just feeling really thick with no layering, you can totally stop here. We're gonna bring the hair back into those four sections once again. So now we're gonna take the hair and bring it all to the top of our head like this. Make sure it's all nicely brushed out and we're gonna take our finger and go through, just like halfway through that ponytail and let that down. And the rest of it, we're gonna bring up to the top, put the elastic in. Once it's tied tight, let it down very lightly. So now I'm gonna do that with the rest of them. 
Can you tell I've had this makeup on all day? Yeah, I just, I should really go to bed, but here I am. And you're just gonna take off that high point. And don't make this perfect. Don't cut it straight across. Please don't do that. Make it very, very feathered. And don't take off too, too much. Like an inch is probably good. He says, do not perfect. So that's what we're gonna do. I can't really see. I'm trying not to pull the tension. I'm gonna leave it at that. Cause it's just gonna, if I keep going, we're just going to keep chopping my hair off more and more. So let's see how this looks. So what we've done there is kind of bevel the edges and make it not so blunt. You can see when I mess it up, all those little pieces coming through down here, it looks so much more natural and a lot more movement and it's so much prettier that way. This looks awesome. Look at that movement we have now. Now that's pretty much the extent of layering I would do at home. You can take about an inch and a half out of the front and while your hair is just laying flat, look in the mirror and point cut very so slightly and work your way down the hair, making little stairs. Beautiful and kind of round out the bottom. And now if your ends are still feeling a bit thick, you can point cut straight up. So you take the hair, lay it in place and point cut directly up to just get rid of a little bit of that weight. Be very careful with this or else you'll have little holes everywhere. Actually to thin it out, I'm going to cheat and just grab some thinning shears. Bang, bang. I don't know if this is how you do it, but this is how I'm doing it. No method to it at all. Oh, so much hair on the floor. That took me like an hour to do, and if I don't have to spend $13, yeah, it's just $13. I know. I have so much anxiety when I'm getting my hair cut. You know how like you hold your breath when you're at the dentist? Yeah, well, I do that when I'm getting my hair cut too. So if I can do it by myself, I'm gonna. So yeah, here's how it turned out. Definitely not as bad as I expected. Definitely could be better, I'm sure, but I ain't complaining. It looks really good in my opinion. So I'll spin around and show you the back really quick. I definitely couldn't have got this back straight without Chris. So I'm gonna go take a shower, get all this hair off of me, style my hair, and then I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like when it's styled. These would have all fallen out anyways. They are all split ends, so. And here is the final result. Oh my God. <laughs> So now that I got it styled, you can see those layers a little bit more. I have to give a big, big thank you to Brad Mondo for making this tutorial. I definitely could not have done it without the video. So thank you and I will leave his full video in the description down below if you guys want to follow this tutorial. It definitely helped me so, so much. So let me know in the comments below if you've ever cut your hair and what your experiences were with it. Bad? Good? let me know. If you want to keep up to tabs with me a little bit more, I'll leave my Instagram down below as well. That way you can go follow me that way. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification. That way you get notified when I post my next video because I got to put some color in this next. Um, but that's pretty much all for today's video, guys. As always, remember to keep your heads up and have a great day. I'm going to be bleaching my roots, so I'll leave a video for you guys to go check that one out next if you want to see how I do that. Thank you again so much for watching.